today we're at the festival and it, it's it's an activity that really raises the spirit and that's what we're about raising the spirit of the local people it's very important at the grassroots and the the um, the younger ones and uh, for them to be able to to belong feel a sense of belonging in the community and to get to know each other because um, they are the for the future it is um, actually a, a very transient area they have loads of people come in stay in the area for a little while and then they move but there's also another side to it which is uh, there's an older generation that have been here a very long time life life is what you make it Everybody can be down. This area has a lot of nice spaces that aren't utilised. We had a, a flood alleviation scheme happening at the recreation ground. And we've had some people from the um, environment, environment Agency actually present today. And we're in discussion with them to see how, if possible, we can go into a dialogue with the council and with themselves so that the recreation ground stops being, is not just a place where people take their dogs for a walk, it becomes a place where people use it. So we have this space here that we use on Mondays for tea, coffee, mornings. We also have the, the hub in Bounces Road, which also has a coffee afternoon on Fridays. Mornings, afternoons, it keeps changing. Um, so where local people can go and have a meeting and also exchange ideas and also get support. People are becoming very aware of the hub. Um, sometimes they just come in, they really don't want to do anything, but they see other people doing things and that's motivating them. Times in the past when I felt very isolated and very lonely and I have felt that I had nobody to talk to. So. For me, I was able to go in there and I've made friends and I, I am offered my service as a volunteer and, um, and I hope, I'm sure there are other people like myself and I hope it will do, it will be a wonderful, I think it's a wonderful thing for Edmonton. I'm not being funny but it's helped people and if people want help they can go into the hub and get help. You do feel like you've sort of stepped out of your home into another home. It makes people niche community. We provide advice, we provide information. The space is being used by the CAB, we're talking about the police, we're talking about the local councillors. One of the priorities of the, of the Bounty Queue, which has to do with developing the, the residents, and one of the ways of developing them is through enterprise. I set up an organisation called IMAP, which stands for I'm a Person, and its aim is to reignite play and playfulness in communities to support health, well-being and discovery of potential. People who are entrepreneurs, if you like, who start in their own businesses, and they're trying out some of what they're offering at the hub. If it wasn't for the big local, I would not have received this first lot of funding. We're all trying to invent, to find ways of getting local people in, involved. We try and get activities that will be owned by the local people so that they can have ownership and get involved. The festival last year was mainly organised by the staff, but this year is predominantly the local residents. Really, it is about uh people in the Bounty area developing themselves.